Well, we're taking this as another experiment, actually. And what we're trying to do is to devise ways that we don't have to use plastic or tilling or anything like that. What we selected was a nitrogen fixing, fairly winter hardy cover crop, which is crimson clover. And part of the advantage with this is that it should frost kill at about 10 degrees. Our winters here get colder than that. So we're expecting to have some cover, suppress the weeds, fix a little nitrogen, and then have the winter kill it. But yet our main crop that we're planting is garlic. Of course, it'll make it through the winter, but then there'll be a mat of organic matter. I think one of the neatest things as a farmer, you think, oh, I've got to add my amendments and I've got to put in the organic matter and I've got to enrich the soil because I'm taking a crop off of it. By doing combinations of different cover crops, you're able to do that and let nature do it. I think the niftiest thing is that when this dies, not only do you have the cover on the top, but you have the root mass. And when the root mass dies back, we just put organic matter into the ground to the depth of the roots without disturbing it. And with this one, since it's a clover, it's actually pulling nitrogen out of the air and fixing that. So we're getting like a fertilizer as well. And that's put in a way that's not gonna be easily washed off like a granular nitrogen application or something. And it's more secure into the ground. So we've got the cover crop here and it's doing its job and we're gonna interplant the cloves of garlic into this. 